it can be tricky, but it, these guys, they have trained a lot for this, and I'm sure we're going to see some very high-level shooting here today. And it starts off with the women's team bronze medal match. Should be very interesting as Mexico, which came out of qualifying, ranked fourth, takes to the uh, field. Mexico coming off of wins over Cuba, 5-1, Italy 5-1, before losing to Korea 5-3, no shame there. Let's meet the trio of archers from Mexico who will be competing in the women's bronze medal match this morning. And it is an experienced squad for the most part. Gabriela Bayardo on the left, 22 years of age. She's the youngster, ranked 82nd in the world. Aido Roman, 27 years old, of course, 11th in the world, and Alejandra Valencia, 21st, or rather, I should say, 21 years old and 18th in the world. So, very, very experienced team with Valencia and Roman, and they'll be taking on a very young team from the United States. Big smiles on their faces as Team USA takes to the field. This young squad defeated India this week, five to four. That went to a shoot off. Bernardo was mentioning that a moment ago. If it's tied at four, it goes to the shoot off. And then he was one in a shoot off. 25-25 was the score in the shoot off and the USA won it. Then they defeated Chinese Taipei, which was a monumental upset. Knocked them off six to two and then dropped the decision to China five to one. Aaron Mickleberry, Lauren Clayman and Anna Missioni are uh, ranging in age from 18 to 30. Aaron Mickleberry, the veteran, at the age of 30. Lauren Clayman, 19 years of age. And Missioni is 18 years old. But none of them is ranked any higher than 145th in the world, Bernardo. Yes, Carl. Um, the American team has some, it, it has missing some names that we're used to seeing, like Katuna Lorig, Mackenzie Brown, Lenora Pritchard or Ariel Gabilaro, but still this team managed to reach a bronze medal final, which, is a, which I think is a great run, and they upset Chinese Taipei. And uh, Chinese Taipei women were the champions here in Medellin last year. So definitely that's a great feat, and I think they will be uh, up the match against Mexico. Two weeks ago in China at stage one, it was Russia trouncing Germany five to one in the bronze medal match. Let's see how close this match will be today as Mexico starts off with an eight. Alejandra Valencia leading off, Bayardo shooting second, and Aido Roman shooting third. So into the gold rings for the first time today. And now Aido Roman, the silver medalist at the 2012 Olympic Games in London, finishing second to Kibo Bay. Would have been nice if I had aimed off a little bit since she saw that both Alejandra and Bayardo start a little bit high. But I think now they just have to move their sight. Aaron Mickleberry for the United States. Starts off a little bit right as well. Terrific shot. First 10 of the day. There we have it. And a Missioni, who finished in a tie for 33rd in Medellin a year ago in individual competition. And now a good look at Lauren Clayman at her first World Cup event ever. Her first shot. Veers off into the red ring. Both teams had some arrows high. So that's a um, side change that other teams should keep an eye on. Valencia draws it back deliberately. And after an eight, she improves with a nine. You could see uh, Gabriela Bayardo exhale right there. You've got to get relaxed. You've got to learn, <laughs> learn to breathe when you're on the line, right? You do, and especially these first shots, they're pretty hard because your heart is beating faster and you're a little bit nervous, but it all goes away after these first couple of arrows. Roman strikes pay dirt. 
So a strong opening set for Team Mexico. They establish the benchmark for Team USA as Erin Mickleberry lines up her second shot. That's a nine. Or excuse me, a 10. That's a confidence builder. It is. Erin uh, Mickleberry, I find it very interesting that she has kind of a simple shot, but very firm, very strong. I like it. Misioni had a 10 on her first attempt. And, and again, that's you see an exhale. Did the you exhale. see that exhale? <laughs> yes. Trying to get those nerves under control. Stay, st stay calm, stay steady. Easier said than done. Lauren lets that missile fly, and now she's feeling the blues. Yes, I, I bet she was very nervous. She took the time to try to relax, but when you're there at the shooting line, time just flies. Hopefully, they will be more relaxed for the next set. So that first set goes to Mexico, and still able to smile about it, which you have to be able to do right now. Hopefully, they've gotten those jitters worked out. But again, that's where the experience of Mexico plays to their advantage. Absolutely. And uh, I think it's interesting to notice that um, Mexico is missing Carla Hinojosa. She wasn't the Mexican team when they got the team quota at Copenhagen last year. But today, instead of her, we have Gabriela Bayardo. And uh, I think there are, there's some good competition going on in their team to see who will eventually go to Rio. This is a very, very important day for a lot of recurve archers. Of course, the uh, third stage coming up in Antalya will be critical, absolutely crucial for anybody who has not nailed down a spot for Rio. Indeed, that's the case of the American team. They don't have a full team quota yet. And uh, I've heard that that might be a reason why Katuna and Mackenzie and the other famous names of the American team are not here because they're preparing to get to Antalya on their best form to get that quota. 54-51 in favor of Mexico in that opening set. So the two set points do go to Mexico, and they immediately jump out to a lead. But remember, this is a USA team that was able to defeat Chinese Taipei, which is no small feat. We saw how good Chinese Taipei is when they performed so well in China at stage one. Yeah, and uh, it, it, I... I found it pretty fun to notice that this is a, the exact same rematch of the bronze medal final last year here in Medellin. United States against Mexico, and that time United States won. With let's some different faces. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But let's see what happens here. One of the keys for the success for the uh, United States this week has been just the uh, thought of going out and having fun, taking the pressure off, taking the stress off, just going out and shooting the way they know how to shoot. Definitely, definitely. If you have fun, you're going to shoot more relaxed and you're going to shoot better. Of course, this is a different setting. The bright lights, the cameras, the crowd, all trained right now on Erin Mickleberry. And she drifts off into the eight ring. Her release seemed a little bit tense. Uh, as soon as the arrow started flying, I think she already knew the shot wasn't very good. Now Anna Missioni. Averaging 8.4 points per arrow. Gets the nine ring. Now Lauren Clayman. Little bit high once again. Little bit high. Maybe she can move her side more. So two eights and a nine. Mexico trying to come up with a better hand. They start off strong with Alejandro Valencia delivering a solid shot. And still a little bit to the left. Interesting thing about Alejandra, she's never medaled here in Medellin. Obviously with a great chance here today. With the help of Bayardo, who drills a 10. Bayardo picked up a team silver medal in Wrocław two years ago in 2014. And now the much decorated Aida Roman. 
who also has never medaled here in Medellin, strangely enough. They're going for it. I think for now they're definitely going for it. They seem more relaxed and stronger than the United States right now, but this is such system, anything can change at any time. Mickleberry yes. trying to change the fortunes of the USA. That's what I said. <laughs> Two more tens, and there'd be a lot of pressure on Mexico. In the second set. Good. Yes. Back to back. Ana Missioni. who's got four match wins on her resume coming into this bronze medal match in Medellin. And, seven. and a seven for Lauren Clayman. So things are still a little bit comfortable for Mexico. Mexico's still in a good spot right now. Yes, but this is recurve. I think recurve has uh, way more room for error than compound which we saw yesterday. Alejandra delivers a nine. Eight World Cup medals overall for Alejandra Valencia. Bayardo bangs another one home. That smile tells it all. And if there's one thing I've noticed about Aida Roman over the last two, three years is how much stronger she's gotten mentally and, and the mental approach she takes to all of this. And it pays off yeah. right there yes. as she strikes goal. Does. And Mexico takes the set and moves out to a four-point advantage in the match right now, leading 4 nothing after the opening two sets. And so right now the USA backed into a corner. Yeah, that 57 by Mexico does give them a boost in confidence. They, they look very relaxed, and I think they just, just have to keep on doing what they, they did in the previous two sets. Maybe what the, the Americans, um, maybe they're too tense, trying too much to, to find the 10. That's something that we often do as archers. We, we're going for the 10 too much, but that can be something tricky. Sometimes all you got to do is just relax and seek the yellow. Just hit the yellow, and eventually the tens will come. You don't have to go for it too much. This might be affecting the Americans. Good crowd in the stands here on a Sunday morning in Medellin on Recurve Sunday. First match of the day, the women's bronze medal match, USA trailing Mexico 4 0, heading to the third set, along with Bernardo from Brazil. I am Carl Arkey. We hope you're enjoying our live shot by shot coverage here in beautiful Medellin, Colombia. High in the Andes Mountains, we're in the Aruba Valley, the verdant Aruba Valley. And shooting on the grounds, the Museum of Modern Art at a target 70 meters away. Aaron Mickleberry. Oh, just Opens up. Did she catch the line? Maybe not. Uh, I'd say it's a seven, unfortunately. Oh. And right now, the USA headed downhill. That's going to be tough to recover. <laughs> Trying to stay strong. But another shot in the red ring. So not what Team USA had hoped for to try to start and mount a comeback. Because as you said, in the set system, it is possible. Anything can happen. We, we've seen teams leading 4 0 and then losing in the shoot off. So it is possible. We, it only ends when the last arrow hits the target. But Mexico, so experienced right now, so steady. Won the first set 54 51, the second set 57 52. And now with a pair of nines, they've set the table for Aida Roman. Who 
can give Mexico a very healthy lead here in this third set. We're talking about the silver medalist in London anyway. And she gave Kibo Bay a run for the money in London back in 2012. She did. That was very exciting. And a nine liner. May have caught that line. We call that fool's gold in the United States. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's really gold or not. We'll have to find out. The judges will have to decide, although it may be academic oh. with the USA right now spraying it all over the target. And it's a shame because they've had such a great, strong week. They really yes, have. they did. But it is such a different environment. And if you haven't been up here before, it's the first match of the day. There, you go. there a strong shot. Anami Sione can feel good about that if that is indeed her last shot here in Medellin this week. And Lauren Clayman trying to do the same thing. Just 19 years of age, averaging 8.6 points per arrow at her first World Cup event. And she should feel good about that. That's Finished it well in the gold ring. We're talking about a completely different environment. Uh, every elimination match is very tense, makes everyone nervous. But with all the cameras and all, with all the people watching, it really makes your heart race like, like you've never seen before. Well, in qualifying and eliminations, you almost sink into the crowd. You're just part of a big, big crowd and everybody's doing their thing. And nobody's really paying that much attention to anybody else. Yeah, you're just uh, another archer in the crowd, but here all the eyes are upon you. Like being on that first tee when you're going to play golf, which I've always hated. So nine and eight, and now Aida Roman to put the finishing touches on a victory for Mexico. Just bring it home. The silver medalist from London yeah. seals the deal. And she does it with a 10. Style and flair, Mexico. A straight set winner, winning the bronze medal here at stage two in Medellin, Colombia on the 2016 Hyundai Archery World Cup Tour. It was precise, it was strategic, it was almost surgical. Mexico showing their experience and with veteran leadership from Alejandro Valencia and Aida Roman, they are able to dispatch the USA in straight sets, winning it six to nothing. So it holds to form. Mexico qualified fourth, the USA qualified tenth. It would have been a major upset, I think, if, Me if the USA had been able to knock off Mexico. But great learning experience for these three young ladies. Yes, definitely. Uh, Lauren Clement, uh, her international experience is almost limited to two World Archery Youth Championships, and that's a very different environment. Now we're here on the on the senior competition, mm -hmm. uh, where you see like all the stars of the sport shooting here, and well, that's a great learning, I'm sure. And uh, I bet they will keep this in in their minds for the preparation for the next stages of the World Cup and maybe World Championship.